Hi Superstars, welcome to Barn Secrets. So for this week, I've had a lot of questions come in like how do you decide um, what level to compete at? And um, I thought that could be a cool topic for today. So I'm actually taking Ollie to his first competition in three weeks. I know, let's, let's cross our fingers I survive. Um, and I'm taking Gretchen. Now Gretchen has competed prelim and did, done a little bit of novice. As you know, she's training elementary, she could almost do a medium test, just the change left to right isn't there. But she's got can half pass and everything else. But um, I choose to compete, her, I'm, I'm competing her at that competition novice um, because she's still spooky. She's still, she's just as likely, you know, to, um, to have a horror of a test because she's decided she doesn't like that corner or something. Um, so I can find it easier to get through a novice test when she's not really with me and not really through than I would in a medium test. Um, so for you, um, so that's what I'm doing with her. But like five years ago with Arba, I took him into a Grand Prix test and I couldn't even do the Grand Prix test. I only had five ones and um, yeah, I've had pretty much everything else, just only five ones. Um, but I wanted to be the first person in Australia to ride a Frisian at Grand Prix, so I kind of rushed that one. Um, so there's two schools of thought. Um, you're never going to get, so with um, Ollie, is he ready for a prelim test? Yes, he can do a prelim test. Is he ready to go out and compete? No. Will he win? No, he'll probably be horrible. Um, but I could train him here for three years and take him out and he'll still be horrible. So I just want to get him some competition experience. So you need to ask yourself the question, do you, you yourself need competition experience? For 10 years, I competed three weekends out of four, all year, every year. Um, I would travel everywhere. <laughs> my poor mother, she drove me to my competitions and I would just travel everywhere and compete and I'd come last and compete and come last. And it wasn't even the horse, I mean the horse didn't know much either, but I needed competition experience. I needed to learn what to do when I forget the test. I needed to learn how to remember my tests. I needed to learn how to slow the test down and not get so frazzled in it. I needed to learn how my warm up could be great but then I'd go into the test and make a disaster of it. I needed to learn how to keep going when the test went bad and not let one bad movement make the whole test bad. And it was that beautiful education that I've had that I now can use on my other horses and I don't need to compete as much now. But if that's where you're at and you need to you know, get competition experience for you, then go out and compete, it doesn't really matter what level. Um, for the horse, yeah, obviously you want to, when I spoke to Sabine, who was like one of my mentors at the time, she said um, you compete when you can get nine at home. So if you can do a prelim test and score nines at home, then you can go out to the test and she said, and then you'll score a seven. <laughs> so there's that school of thought as well. So um, either you want to train, 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 and be training a level or two levels higher than what you will go out and compete at, or you can just compete at that level and get your learning experiences. Remember, there is no right or wrong. It's your journey. So what do you want to do? And for me, I'm inspired to ride my horse when I compete. I actually don't actually even want to ride the horse if I don't have a competition booked. So for that reason as well, I would also book competitions because that would just force me to ride and force me to work on what I needed to work on because I didn't want to embarrass myself out on Sunday. So you want to look at your motivation reasons as well. So I trust that helps. Remember, any questions, let me know. And I'll see you next time. Bye.